your whole basket for four dollars. <laughs> Do you have other kind of bottles or just milk bottles? Um, like soda bottles and blob tops and I mean, stuff like uh, that? Yeah, I mean, everything I... No, I think... It, no, everything's out there. Okay. Yep, or... Do you have any bottles with like embossing on them? Like uh, milk bottles? Because um, I see a lot... I don't recall seeing anything from that. All right. Give me a dollar for this one bottle. This Maryland sure. bottle. Okay. Yep, you got it. Do you know if you're bringing out more t-shirts? Pardon me? Do you, are you bringing out more t-shirts? No, I haven't. I have all the clothes out. Okay. Whole bunch of vintage shirts. This one's really cool. <laughs> no, this is a fun time. Exercise, what's that? Yeah, 
anyone know what kind of tool this is? I know these are slate rippers. I'm into the HL scale three. How's that sound? Do you know what this is? That, I don't know, but it was with that. Uh, oh, so it's gotta be probably slate related? I, I don't wanna say that. All no. I know is the best I can get from my dad, and he's gone. I'm 70 and he, he was 85 when he passed away 10 years ago. This I don't know, but yeah, those some are... of these, these are slate rippers. Yeah, I know And that he told me that his mom's... Are the hats prices marked on the ones that are not a dollar or whatever? Yeah, is that what they are? Okay. Oh, did he? Mostly they're all brand new, just like collectibles. Yeah. So we got a couple decent hats here. Got a local Eastern Pennsylvania hat. Apparently someone came in and bought 10 hats just now. Go figure. And these are kind of decent. Like they're the right era. They're not like this is like a $15 hat. The other one's $10, $15 hat. So there was probably $20 to $30 hats there that someone else bought. Yeah, it is what it is. You can't, can't win them all. Throw in the back. It is what it is. It's... It's hard to compete with, you know, like, look at this, it's crazy out here. There's usually, I mean, there's people walking the road. It's hard to compete with everyone. Uh, the one thing, I don't know what time it is, so I'll let you know here in a second. This is supposed to start at 8. It's 8.15. All right, so I'm at my, probably my 12th or 15th house already. Maybe 20th house. I'd say about 20 houses now. So, you got to get here early. It's just a matter of how early. It can't be everywhere. You gotta remind yourself that. It can't be everywhere. I never did anything when I was gone. That, that, that is gone. I put it on my porch. And then I put it on my porch. 
and then I have a real pretty wreath that goes on that's um, Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Nice, and then I stick it on my porch and that's what you do. <laughs> that rug's for sale, that's a Persian rug. I got a real wreath. It's huge and it's brand new, yeah, never freaking that. used. This is cool. Oh, you know, they've got so much stuff to just stand there. The kids. What are you getting for the Yankee jersey? Uh, what? 20 bucks. Do you have any more, any chance? No. no. That's all I got right now. No. I think I got like hotcakes last year. Oh, uh, yeah. I want it, I'll take ten. How much for the silverware set, Mitch? Ten bucks for the Yankee jersey. I thought it was, I've never seen this one. It's got no name on the back. It's, I guess they're like vintage vintage model for 1923 yankees ten dollars for a starter jersey isn't bad i asked him if he had more he doesn't um but yeah starter jersey i'm not a yankees fan so this is just probably going online but like he said he said you can probably flip it for 30 i'll probably sell for 30. the profit from that will pay for my gas for today also i got my uh my tire plugged the air thing just came on I don't know if that's all about. It seems like there's air in there. Seems solid. Thank you. Lady with the dress, thank you. A lot of firefighter stuff in this town. Must be something. I don't know what a. There's a lot of 9 11 stuff. Just it's interesting to me. Unless people here were firefighters during that time. I don't know, I just think it's interesting. This whole town, there's a lot of firefighters still. Firefighter patches. Okay, so made it back from a wonderful day of treasure hunting. Starting off, I got this really nice looking bowl here. It is kind of, uh, I would say it's modern. It's kind of nice. It's kind of got this like live edge look to it. I think that's kind of cool. A little bit different it's not just a normal oval bowl as well it's well, i guess it is oval but it's not a circle i thought that was kind of cool uh i did pick up a couple basketballs the basketball trend i think is kind of dying off but uh i was actually talking to a guy who i sell them to and uh the guy who actually buys it from him moved to detroit so he no longer lives in the area and then basketball guy no longer lives local either but he said that the guy who buys them from him you know if he wants them it's gonna be pretty hard to go out and get them. So he's actually worth it for him to drive all the way back and get it from this, you know, one source. And that's true. I mean, those basketballs, I mean, you think you see them everywhere until you start buying them. And you can, if you needed like a special order, cause he does art. If you need a special order of maybe 50 or hundred basketballs, you can't just go to the thrift store and find 50 basketballs in a month. It's a little bit more difficult than that. So he said, keep buying them. So I guess I will for a buck a piece. Other than that, this is what I got kind of a fun day all around the shirts a lot of these were a dollar each i paid five dollars for that one and ten for this but uh this lady had some cool racing tees uh no nascar though so that's just like local track even though i think maybe nascar ran at dover sounds kind of familiar maybe they did but that's an older one fruit of loom this is like a y2k gap shirt um i don't know if this is just the guy's name was al or this is actually a softball jersey uh, so that was that. You got another racing shirt as well. That's Pocono Raceway, but with motorcycles. 1990. That's what the date on it is. It's kind of cool. We have a gym shirt, a workout tank. All these are vintage. Uh, these, I would say, are probably early 90s. That obviously is 90, 1990. This, I think, is like around 2000, maybe late 90s, early 2000s. Some of these Planet Hollywood shirts. Uh, the Planet Hollywood, I've noticed personally, are a little bit harder to sell. I've never had one with the uh, poker cards on there. Uh, the ones that are kind of a little bit easier to sell are the Hard Rock Cafes. 
so you'll probably see a lot of Planet Hollywood and Hard Rock Cafe. I don't know if they're really like rivals, but uh, they seem to be like in every town at one point. And the Hard Rock Cafe is uh, get a little bit more money. This I paid ten dollars for. It's a Yankees jersey. It is starter. Cooperstown collection by Starter. Uh, starter no longer makes these kind of jerseys, so it's vintage, obviously. Uh, there's no name on the back. I don't know what the value on it is. It differs. Sometimes these things are so hot. Obviously, during baseball season, you'll get a little bit more money. I asked the guy if he had any more. He said no. Uh, he said last year they sold like hotcakes. So I guess he had more last year. I don't remember him from last year, so I wouldn't remember. I uh, did pick up this for $5. George Jones, Honky Tonk. Myself to death. I guess he was a country singer. Got all the towns on the back. It says a tour, but it doesn't have any, uh, doesn't have a date on it. But it is obviously vintage. It's a single stitch shirt. It's on an older uh, best tag. Best fruit loom. Made in the USA. Got one milk bottle, although it doesn't pop up. It says Maryland Farms Dairy. Nice piece of pewter for a buck. And a couple hats. A little local city of Easton. Uh, Philadelphia Phillies big logo. So, by now, well, you can kind of see it on the screen. It's, it's a pretty large logo. It's probably one and a half times the size of our normal logo. And then just a cool Canada hat. So, that's kind of my grabs for today. It was an awesome treasure hunt as always. I think I did miss a bunch of hats because someone else beat me to it. Somebody said that the guy before me picked up probably 10 hats. So, I probably got second dibs. Overall, still a couple cool hats there, but I always curious about what I might have missed. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this awesome treasure hunt. Thanks for coming along for another yard sale adventure. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely smack like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. It'll be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.